Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for our again in this video we are going to talk about checkpoint 3 layers yes you heard about checkpoint 3 tier architecture but now I am going to talk about the checkpoint 3 layers layers which actually give you actual functionality of the checkpoint firewall how it works okay so without wasting time let's get into this model is commonly used in enterprise network environment to structure the firewall deployment across three layers and these three layers we're just going to talk in a bit so number one layer is security management layer function of the security management layer we all know it's managed the things but this is how it is so this is the top layer which is responsible for policy management logging and reporting the component if i want to talk about it's like including your smart console the smart console from where you interact with your smart management server right it's a user interface and the management server whole appliance itself we call it security management server the role here the role what we have in the first layer security management layer is with respect to the administrator i mean Administrator use this layer to create, modify, and deploy security policies across the network. It also stores the logs, audits, data, enable data reporting, and do analysis, and many more things like managing the licensing, managing different blades, whatsoever we get it from the checkpoint. So I hope the layer one is clear. The next one is your control layer the function here is like control layer act as a bridge between the management and the data layers basically it handles the decision making process for security policies components here we also call it main pillar what required in control layer the components are we often include security gateways or a policy servers the role if i talk about it's like it applies the policy configuration part the administrator whosoever configure the policy those policy load we push to the gateway that part so on the management layer we apply the policy and that get pushed to the security gateway that part it comprise security gateway to inspect incoming and outgoing traffic and ensure it complies with the policy requirements what we have set up and many more things comes like a VPNs, IPS, IDS and all those things. And the last layer is data layer. This layer is where the actual packet inspect and data processing take place. The component comprise security appliances or a firewall physical appliances. Monitoring those things, monitor traffic, monitoring the different aspect of the uh, firewalls. All right. The role here, I would say, the handle the physical data flow, enforcing the policy set by the control layers. This layer basically allows or a block or restrict access to resources based on the security policies, protecting critical assets from unauthorized access. So this model architecture allow for the better scalability as an organization to manage multiple security gateway from a single management console streamline policy deployment and gain a holistic view of the security portion.